Hey everyone, JP here from Oracle Lighting. Today we're gonna be checking out how to install the all new LED side mirror ditch lights for the fifth gen Ram 1500 and TRX. Let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna bend the mirror back. We're gonna remove the glass. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to disengage the clips behind the mirror. Next, the mirror cap is held in with these four clips and this one T20 screw. We're gonna remove that T20 screw. Next, we're gonna disengage these clips with a flathead. Now we're gonna tilt the cap outward and pull. Next, we're gonna remove this T20 screw for the light module. And we're also gonna remove this T20 screw for the lower housing. Now we're going to separate the lower housing along with the light module. Next, we're gonna unplug these three connectors. And set this off to the side. So next step is to remove the door panel. Now that we have the door panel removed, we need to remove this upper trim to access behind the mirror for the cable. So we're gonna remove this clip. We're gonna go from underneath, that makes it easier. We also need to remove these two clips. Set this all to the side. All right, so I've got our extension cable here, and the easiest way to get this through the mirror and onto the other side of the door is to pull out this coax cable you're gonna to wanna to pull all the slack that you can out. You'll feel when you run out of slack, it's gonna get really tight. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take some electrical tape and you're gonna tape the end of your extension cable as far up this coax cable as you can. Make sure you get this taped really well so it doesn't come apart. And now we're gonna to go to the other side of the door. All right, so this is the other side of that cable. We're gonna go ahead and untape this cable to expose it. And we're gonna pull the slack right back through the door. And with that slack should come our extension cable as well. So we're gonna go ahead and untape all of this. Now we're just gonna give this a pull. Now we wanna make sure that we don't go too far because we don't want to pull this cable all the way through. And there's our tape. And there's our extension cable. So we're gonna untape our extension cable. And we're just gonna pull this the rest of the way through now. So now we have our cable through. We're gonna go ahead and pull our coax cable back through the door, just so we can connect that later when we put it back together. And then you're gonna to wanna to do some tidying up here. You're gonna to wanna to tape this harness back up just so you don't have any loose wires. All right, so now that we have our cable routed through the door, as you can see here, I routed the cable straight through the fender and pulled into the engine compartment here. We've got it tucked under this wire and we're dropping straight down to the front to our auxiliary switch wire. If your fifth gen Ram came equipped with the six auxiliary switches, you can access those wires here at the engine compartment next to the PDC. If your fifth gen Ram did not come equipped with the auxiliary switches, you can simply wire these to a toggle switch or an upfitter switch if you have one. Now that we have our cable ran, we're gonna go ahead and put the door panel back together. All right. So now that we've got all of the slack pulled out of our cable, we've got our mirror module set in place. We're gonna put the lower panel back on. First, we're gonna plug back in all our connectors. Now we're gonna put our T20 screws back in. And now we're gonna snap our brand new Oracle LED off-road mirror module into place. So now we're gonna put our T20 screw back into place. 
and we're gonna pop the mirror glass back on. And there you have it.